just happened. We need to talk in a tavern cellar. I don't know what to think of this, but I know you need to hear it. This letter just came to me. It says it is from your blood relative. This uh, Bob Carrington. He says he is your uncle on your mother's side. I knew him, but your mother, uh, she never spoke of him to me. Maybe he lies. Maybe not. If he speaks the truth, your parents, he could help you remember them. He is staying in Flotsam. It is worth seeing, no? going to tell us about the wheel, one way or another. I don't want trouble. Anything you say. Anything I say was an excellent philosophy. Now, pirate, get him now!
Guard, I see you got my message. Well timed. Good to see you again, Burgess. It's been an age. And did you bring... Yes! Captain, I've heard a lot about you, but look at you. I see my sister Jenny in your face. Pirate Jenny. It's enough to break my heart. Oh, is it? Tell me, this is sister of yours. Why wasn't she named the Jenny Carrington like you, eh? You mean before she married? Father disowned her when she told him she was going to be a private. Like me, she took her mother's maiden name. Ah, so she follows your footsteps. I sailed her with Jenny for years, and she said another one word about you. Why? We had a falling out. I tried to convince her to go back home. It didn't end well. And uh, where was her home, exactly? Darkmoor. Look here, if you're going to stand around and test me all day, we'll lose our chance to get the map piece. Map? What map? Marco Poyo's map. I know the whole story. I'm not sure where Jenny hid her piece, but I know how to find it. It should go to my niece. In the last message she ever sent me, Jenny told me the wheel held the key to her greatest treasure. I never knew what she meant until recently. It's the code wheel, a big thing made of brass, like an astrolabe. Spin the upper plate, and holes in it reveal words on the disc underneath it. Jenny made the wheel to reveal the location of her map piece. If you know how to align plate and disc, that is. I've just learned how. Your mother split the wheel and hid both parts. I know where the upper plate's buried and how to line it up once we find the disc. What do you say? Game for a treasure hunt? Gaspard, how well do you know this man? Can we trust him? He knows a lot about the Jenny, I tell you that. He is as trustworthy as any pirate, I suppose. That's reassuring. So, Uncle Bob, just where is this plate hidden? It's buried in Traitor's Cave. Now that name inspires confidence. Oh, you have no idea. A fine place, right, Ratbeard? Enough of that. Captain, what are we standing around for? If there's even a chance this Bob can lead us to a bit of the map, we're fools not to try. Agreed. We go. And you, Bob, know this. Uncle, to my captain or no, betray us, and you pay dearly for it. I understand. Now, we're not the only ones hunting for the wheel, remember? Let's go. The plate's buried in that side chamber. Hurry! There's nothing here, Captain, and there's a fresh hole in the sand. Looks like somebody beat us to it. Stand by for ambush! What's all this about? Some kind of trick, eh? How did you know the plate was even supposed to be here? No trick. I'm as surprised as you are. As to how I knew it was here, on his deathbed, one of my sister's former shipmates. Which you on? What? More tests? It was Spiny Norman. A hedgehog? I hadn't heard he died. It's only been a few days. Tragic, really. He told me all about the wheel before he died. I swear to you. But who took the plate? There are lots of tracks. Fresh, too. Rats, crabs, and... That's odd. Looks like they went poking around in the sand with a broom handle. Whoever it was, they didn't do it very long ago. Well, somebody outside. They must see them come and go. Let's go ask a few questions. See nobody, so clear off. Oh, ye can do better than that, Jake, me boy. Talk, or I'll have your other leg, too. No, don't leave me with just one hand. I seen that. Not an hour ago, a gang of rats and crabs walked in the cave led by a horror of a pirate. Two peg legs he had. And a hook had made into a blade besides. Kept balance with a cane he did. Walking like a spider. He were the leader. Bless my soul. That's Captain Hand. Aye. A meaner and more stubborn pirate never sailed. Now, tell us more. His gang? They had a big satchel. All sandy with something heavy in it. They sailed away. That's all I see. That's all I know. I thought Captain Hand retired after he lost his other leg. The thugs that came after me must be his crew. 
And used to hole up in Scrimshaw. Let's go find him. Captain, wait! Look, lads, the captain said someone had come sniffing. Get him! There. Aye, here's the wheel, or the plate half of it anyway. So the rest of the wheel, where's it gone, eh? And your captain, where is he? Top! Captain Hand, he's gone. As soon as he dropped off that bit of brass, he was off again. Where to? Well, that's a bit of a tale. You see, there's this old friend of the captain's. Well, maybe not a friend, but the two ain't killed each other yet. Funny how they met, though. After the cutthroats took the captain's leg, his right leg, that is, and were crawling out of the cutthroat cove and... Quit your stalling and get to the point. Where's he gone? Where's who gone? And who in blazes are you lot? Yar! I thought you'd never get back. Trounce these blighters. I'm ready.
Find somebody. What's his name? Uh, uh, Red Rum. No, no, no. Red Roof. Over in Jonah Town. Something about a wheel. He must know where the disc is. Let's go. There may still be time. <laughs> This yar, if it ain't Pirate Jenny's child, the maps are as me hearties. Get him. Saved. Thank you. You came for the disc. Now I'm sworn to never tell. Just before her last voyage, Jenny made me promise. How can I break my word to her? Listen, I'm Jenny's brother, and this is Jenny's own daughter. Come of age at last. It's true. Will you believe your own eyes? That disc in the treasure it guards belonged to this pirate by right. You've done what Jenny asked. Now do what she'd have wanted. This pirate is Jenny's child? You're right, I see it. Very well. Jenny told me the disc's buried on Parrot Island, at the foot of Parrot Rock. Where's that again? Ah, and hand, he does not know. Let's go. Good luck in your search, pirate. Once you have it, meet me at the Black Spot in Flotsam, and we'll see where the map is. the water moles say ah here is the place dig wait where is it the disc it's not here red ruth hoodwinked us maybe not look here this sounds real loose looks like somebody dug it up before we did and not long ago then somebody has much to answer for let's get him easy there big guy so what should we really do whoever dug this up what would they do with it? Hmm. If the finder did not know what the disc was, they would try to sell it? Maybe it's to a fence. Well, Port Regal's right over there. Want to find a fence? Ask a thief. I said we pay Mr. Litton a visit. Yes. Good idea. Let's go. Who's this virgin into my... A pirate! You're back! Look, Nelly, my dear, this is the pirate who helped us get married. So, what can I do for you? Where are you breaking into this time? Oh, no! Nothing like that! Good day, madam! So good to meet you! We are looking for a fence. Oh, dear. Well, I don't know how much help I can be in that regard. No more thievery for me! I've turned my life around, you see? Of course you have. Well, I don't know if he'd still be in business, but the best fence I ever knew of was right here. Finnegan's his name. Here's his address. 
Many a thanks, good sir. And a congratulations again on your marriage. May it uh, always bring you joy. We must go, Captain. I know your face. Seeing you coming and going for Mr. Ims of the domicile, haven't I? Your special branch boils. Take them. Yeah, yeah. Edge 
Not zeal. You seem to be on the level. Can't be too careful, you understand. Of course. Has anyone brought you a disc of bronze? Uh, perhaps so large with holes? It's your lucky day. Somebody did indeed. Big fella he was. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch his name. Didn't buy the thing from him, it turns out. It was clearly broken off another piece, and I wasn't about to take it incomplete. I referred him to Madame Bianca over on Skull Island. She's not so particular as I am. Now this information... You'd find it of some value, no? You wish a favor, eh? You are still standing. That is a favor for your information. Good day! disc with tiny holes in it yes I know it a shame I sold it not long ago another collector beat you to it it seems too bad what was his name I can't remember for the life of me I'm so distressed what with those vile sharks stealing all my garnets ah I understand if those garnets were returned you'll help thank you the sharks, they're in Grimtooth Cavern behind Traitor's Cave. I'm sure I'll have remembered by the time you get back. That's Grimtooth Cavern through there. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> 
Many thanks, pirate. I do indeed recall who bought the disc from me. It was Scaly Gilman out of Gullet. The fish? Arr, he's a vile one. He, there'll be no dealing with him. If we cannot deal with him, we shall deal with him, yes? You get it? We go! Man, indeed. Ah, dinner's delivered, I see. Come and get him, lads. Aye, aye, Captain. As you wish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Have the plate? Good. Now we can set to work. Jenny told me the symbol to use on the base and the upper plate. When we align them... Look, the words are revealed. Devilfish Hollow, end of the Shark Tooth Passage. Devilfish Hollow? So another map piece has been here in Skull Island all this time. Let's go! Mother's piece of the map must be in that chest there. Let's go get it. Captain, it's not here. Funny thing, it never was. What? No, Jenny's piece of the map was never here. Her greatest treasure was here, but that never had anything to do with the map. You lying dog! And I suppose she was never your sister, neither. In point of fact, no. Pirate, I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you. I knew it! Traitor! Spiny Norman did tell me where the code wheel was hidden and how to set it, and he was on his deathbed. But his demise was far from natural. So what the devil was hidden here? And if you knew how to get the wheel, why go through this whole charade? Your mother was quite the adventurer, pirate. Her diaries contain hints to the location of a dozen treasures she hid during her long career. My shipmates were eavesdropping on us in the black spot. As soon as they overheard where the cave was, they raced us here and won. The charade was to lure you into our trap. It worked. Jenny's piece of the map may not be here, but you're carrying quite a few of them. I told you what would happen if you betrayed the Captain, you lying fool! I uh, hope you're ready for the pain! We'll see who the fool is, Fuzzy. <sighs> so, ye were behind this all along, eh? Aye, ye vile varmint. Pirate Jenny were me worst enemy in the old days. She mutinied again me. Took me hand and stole me treasure. Now I'll get it all back and more besides. Getting to trounce her dear little babe. Why not sauce for the goose? Oh, and one more thing. Ye'll hand over the bits of Poyo's map ye do have. And ye'll do it quick if ye want to keep your skins. I reckon getting to El Dorado myself will be the best revenge. And if not, I wonder how much can it pay for the chance. You'll never know, you monster. Attack! Yeah. 
What now?
You've won the diary for now. You know, I'd have been proud to be your uncle. Farewell, pirate. Hold. Stay your hand, pirate. I beg parley. Arr, you're all the thorn in me side your mother was, and more. I beg ye, spare me crew. Captain, I say, takes his last hand and teach him a lesson. No, Pirate Jenny would never do that. Let him go. Soon all Skull Island will know what happens here. I hope a shame is something you enjoy. Well, Captain, we have won a great victory. Let us go celebrate in a tavern cellar. Well, Captain. The diaries, they will let you get to know your mother all over again. Better than before. When you read them, you'll see how much she loved you. And that's worth more than gold. Captain.